You don't have to be scared because nothing bad is going to happen here. The joy of doing a scary movie is I always like to picture a group of friends going to a movie theater at midnight at Halloween or people having a sleepover party. And it's your job, like you're sitting around a campfire, your job to tell a scary story. Hey everybody, gather around. I'm gonna tell you about the grabber. <laughs> Creepiest damn thing. The grabber is kind of a monolith in the film. We're not entirely sure who he is, where he comes from, why he's doing what he's doing. The grabber is a failed magician, I imagine. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, you know, he's the kind of clown of sorts, an evil clown. Would you like to see a magic trick? Yeah. And, you know, like a lot of clowns, there's a darkness there. Ah, the you say one fucking word, and I will gut you like a pig. I like playing flawed characters and people who aren't likable and things like that. That's always drawn to me, but whenever you're overtly evil, people believe you are spawn of Satan. And you can't say, no, I'm secretly really nice and I'm at the chess club. You're like, no, you're not. I know who you really are. It's a no-win scenario for the performer. But the good news is I'm 51 now, and so uh, it might be the time for me to go to the dark side. Ah! Look what you made me do. I was really excited about the idea of playing a character in a mask. It seemed like some strange, abstract Greek theater piece. And the character became something I'd never done before. Ethan is the grabber's terrifying. Like when I first saw the mask, I, I, I kind of froze. And then like almost after every take, Ethan's like, you all right, buddy? Ethan was really excited. And one of the things that really excited him was the fact that he was going to be masked almost the entire time and wasn't going to be able to use facial expressions to drive that character. So he had to act with his voice. I just wanted to look at you. No one can hear anything down here. I soundproofed it myself. I'm gonna go see who it is. Then I'll get you a soda. Then I'll come back and explain everything. Ethan is bringing to the part something deeply unstable and unnerving. Ethan's just terrifying, it's just really cool. It's very hard to play that kind of darkness or malevolency, whatever the right word is, because it's impossible to justify. Ethan comes in going, I'm going to take this character I love on the page and I'm going to make it better through my performance. And he does. We're hardwired to read people's moods and what they're trying to communicate by their face. When somebody covers their face, your brain immediately studies their body language and gestures and their energy differently. And so that was really fun for me to figure out, like, how does he stand? How does he move? What's the quality of the voice? I was really starting to like you, Finny. It's a different game. I almost let you go. It's actually a fascinating thing to think about. Somebody who doesn't want to be seen so much, they must really hate themselves. And so it was fun for me to devise what this person is hiding from, how did they become this damaged. You know, it's always the people who've been tortured that torture others. I want this to really hurt. Ethan's just an incredible talent. And uh, I love that he gave this a chance. And I hope to see more villainous portrayals out of him because he's really good at it.